we have a big breaking news. Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, his his wife Madhulika Rawat and 11 other personnel died while Group Captain Varun Singh survived after the Indian Air Force chopper. They were travelling in cra crash near Kunur in Tamil Nadu's Nilgiri Hill District on Wednesday while an investigation has been ordered. The government is likely to make a statement in Parliament on Thursday on the crash of the Mi-17 V-5 helicopter. The aircraft was on its way from Sulur IAF base in Coimbatore to Defence Staff College in Wellington. A horrific military chopper crash, Vipin Rawat is no more. IAF confirms Rawat's death through a tweet. Wife Madhulika, 11 others also die in air tragedy. Chopper crash near Kunnur around 12.40 p.m. Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, his wife Mathulika Rawat and 11 other personnel died while Captain Varun Singh survived after the Indian Air Force chopper crashed in Kannur. They were travelling in from Kannur in Tamil Nadu's Nilgiri Hill District on Wednesday while an investigation has been ordered. The government is likely to make a statement in Parliament on Thursday on the crash of the Mi-17 V-5 helicopter. The aircraft was on its way from Sulur IAF base in Coimbatore to Defence Staff College in Wellington. the horrific military chopper crash that killed Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat along with his wife and 11 others, several ministers including Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday took down to Twitter to share his condolences for General Bipin Rawat. The country's first Chief of Defence Staff who died this morning in a helicopter crash in Tamil Nadu's Kunnur, while Defence Minister wrote that he is deeply anguished by the sudden demise of CDS Rawat. His wife and 11 others Armed personnel force, armed forces personnel. Furthermore, Union Home Minister Amit Shah also tweeted saying that CDS was one of the bravest soldiers who has served the motherland with utmost devotion. His exemplary contributions and commitments can't be put into words. On the other hand, the President of India tweeted that it's deeply painful to learn of the loss of lives in chopper crash and that he joins the fellow citizens in paying tributes to each of those who died while performing their duty. Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, his wife and 11 others declared dead in the IAF chopper crash which took place in Tamil Nadu's Kunnur on Wednesday afternoon. 
Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, a topmost military commander who had miraculously survived a single-engine helicopter crash in the year 2015, minutes after it took off from Nagaland. General Rawat, age 63, took charge as India's first Chief of Defence Staff in January 2019. He was also the 57th and last Chairman of the Chiefs of Staff Committee as well as the 26th Chief of Army Staff of the Indian Army. Notably, there were 14 people on board the chopper including CDS Rawat and his wife. Furthermore, earlier CDS Rawat was on his way to Wellington to deliver an address at the Defence Services Staff College in Wellington. General Bipin Rawat Bipin Rawat, a topmost military commander who had miraculously survived a single-engine helicopter crash in the year 2015, minutes after it took off from Nagaland, General Rawat, age 63, took charge as India's first Chief of Defence Staff in January 2019. He was also the 57th and last Chairman of the Chiefs of Staff Committee as well as the 26th Chief of Army Staff of the Indian Army. Notably, there were 14 people on board the chopper including CDS Rawat and his wife. Furthermore, earlier CDS Rawat was on way to Wellington to deliver an address at the Defence Services Staff College in Wellington. After the horrific military chopper crash that killed Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat along with his wife and 11 others, several ministers including Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday took down to Twitter to share his condolences for General Bipin Rawat. The country's first Chief of Defence Staff who died this morning in a helicopter crash in Tamil Nadu's Kunnur while Defence Minister wrote that he is deeply anguished by the sudden demise of CDS Rawat, his wife and 11 others Armed, post, armed Forces personnel. Furthermore, Union Home Minister Amit Shah tweeted saying that CDS was one of the bravest soldiers who has served the motherland with utmost devotion. His exemplary contributions and commitments can't be put into words. On the other hand, the President of India tweeted that it's deeply painful to learn of the loss of lives in the chopper crash and that he joins the fellow citizens in paying tributes to each of those who died while performing their duty. Horrific military chopper crash, PM Narendra Modi took down to his Twitter and said that as India's first CDS General Rawat worked on diverse aspects relating to armed forces including defense reforms, he brought him, he brought him with rich experience of serving in the army. India will never forget his exceptional service. This is what Narendra Modi tweeted after the sudden demise of General Rawat. Similarly, Amit Shah, the Union Home Minister, also tweeted saying that he expresses his deepest condolences and said that it is a sad day for the no nation as we lost our CDS. General Bipin Rawat Ji in a tragic accident. Amit Shah tweeted that a very sad day, it is a very sad day for the nation as 
We all lost our CDS, General Bipin Rawat Ji, in a very tragic accident. He was one of the bravest soldiers who has served the motherland with utmost devotion. His ex exemplary contributions and commitment cannot be put into words. And that Amit Shah also tweeted at the end saying that he is deeply in pain. Furthermore, Nitin Gadkari, Dr. S.J. Shankar also took down to their Twitter saying that heartfelt condolences on the sad demise of CDS General. His wife Madhulika Rawat and 11 armed forces personnel on board the ill-fated helicopter. Rajnath Singh took down to his Twitter saying that General Rawat had served the country with exceptional courage and diligence as the first chief of defense staff he had prepared plans for jointness of our armed forces. Rajnath Singh tweeted that it is he he said that my heart goes out to the families who lost their loved ones in this accident. Similarly as Dr. S. J. Shankar also took down to his Twitter expressing condolences to the bereaved family. Amit Shah at the same time Union Home Minister also took down to Twitter saying that it is a sad day for the nation as we lost our CDS. Narendra Modi also tweeted saying that he is deeply anguished by the helicopter crash in Tamil Nadu in which we all lost General Bipin Rawat, his wife and other personnel of the armed forces. They served India with utmost diligence and that he said at the, la at the last saying that my thoughts are with the bereaved families. For more details, we have Dibindu Chakrabarty from the studio of NLTV. Uh, yes, Hello, Dibindu, can you hear my voice? Yes, yes, Shira. Uh, uh, since this afternoon, after uh, you know, the news broke out that IF chopper that carrying the uh, CDS General Bipin Rawat along with his wife and 11 others were heading towards Sulu, uh, uh, I beg your pardon, Wellington, where he was supposed to address a uh, defense staff college lecture. And he was about to give a lecture around 2.45 this afternoon. But the uh, tragedy struck and uh, the chopper got crashed in Kunur area around 12.20 this afternoon. And after that, we have continuously, we have showed the latest updates and all the information and news to the people, to the viewers of Nagaland TV. And finally, uh, uh, around Six in the evening when the shocking news was confirmed by Indian Air Force tweet that India's first Chief of Defence Staff, General Bipin Rawat, and along with his wife and 11 others are no more. So it's, that, so it's, a, it's a very, very uh, sad news for the nation, entire nation, as a highly decorated officer, a highly ranked officer who was India's first Chief of Defence Staff, had to left for his heavenly abode in such a tragic tragic incident. As you know, um, he was not only the uh, uh, CDS of India, uh, he actually was a strategist and he along with the Defence Ministry and all the other wings of Indian uh, Indian Defence System, that is Indian Army, Indian Navy and India Air Force, where, where they, they, they always you know ma made sure that the country always remained in safe hands and the security uh, concerns were always taken up and the matters were you know taken up by the chief of defense staff he always you know he always endorsed that india should take a firm stand against china and pa uh, and pakistan also regarding the border issue that has been always uh, uh, one of the uh, the heated agenda between the neighboring countries and our country so uh, uh, just because he was a very firm leader very stern and very 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 clear-minded person uh, he was appointed as the chief of defense staff in the 
in the year uh, 2019. I must say, it's not. He was although he was appointed on the last month of 2019. Officially, he took charge of the CDAs on the uh, January 2020, and then onwards, he you know he he led the Indian uh, in Indian defense. Uh, Indian defense plan in its own way. So uh, it, 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 it's a great loss for the country. And uh, uh, what is more sad that uh, he, along with 11 others, including his wife, I must say 12 others, including his wife, uh, are no more today. And uh, what can be said, it, 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 it's a very, very, very unfortunate incident. So uh, as you, you have already mentioned uh, to the viewers that Prime Minister Narendra Modi, you know, Home Minister Amit Shah, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, along with all other dignitaries, have you know uh, expressed their condolences. They have took down to Twitter to you know to 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 to, to, to admit that uh, what uh, General Awad did for the country, uh, being a true hero, he 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 did an immense job uh, for the country, and his contributions to the nation, his contribution to the country cannot be forgotten. So today we should remember, we should remember, and we should salute such a hero who who did who did. Uh, uh, excellent during his career. He excelled in his career because he started in the Indian Army in the year 1978. Uh, when he joined, he commissioned to the 5th Battalion of the 11 Gorkha Rifles. And incidentally, that was the same unit. His father, his father also served. His father was also uh, he also uh, uh, he served in the Indian Army. His father, his father, uh, you know, he was a lieutenant colonel in the Indian Army. And uh, uh, so, just following his father's footsteps. Vipin Lakshman Singh Rawat, whom we call today Vipin Rawat. Vipin Lakshman Singh Rawat joined the Indian Army and from 1978, he didn't, he didn't look back and his, his, his exemplary uh, career, you know, uh, says it all. As, uh, as you already mentioned in one of the stories that, uh, that, uh, you know, he, 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 he was a, a recipient of several, several prestigious awards in terms of his, uh, uh, you know, his, uh, he, he, he actually uh, he was the 57th and the last chairman of the chief of the staffs committee as well. And he, uh, while he became the army chief, he became the uh, in, to, in the year 2016 he became the 26th uh, chief of army staff of the Indian Army. And and uh, he, you know he 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 won the Atimishtu Seva Medal. He won the uh, Seva. Uh, uh, I beg your pardon. Um, uh, Different prestigious awards. So don't, even I, I, the list is so long that you know uh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't uh, complete. He, he was a Padam Vishishta Seva Medal winner. He was the Uttam Youth Seva Medal winner. Ati Vishishta Seva Medal winner. Youth, uh, Youth Seva Medal winner. Sena Medal. Vishishta Seva Medal. Wound Medal. Samanya Seva Medal. Special Service Medal and so on. He's, he, he's a recipient of Operation Parakram Medal. Uh, Sanya Seva Medal, High Altitude Service Medal, Videsh Seva Medal, 50th Anniversary of Independence Medal. So the list goes on, you know. On uh, he, he started as a second lieutenant in the year 1978, then he was promoted to the lieutenant rank in 1980. He became captain in the year 1984. Then he promoted to major in 1989. He took the position of lieutenant colonel in the Indian Army in the year 1998. And promoted to colonel in 2003. Then. In, uh, in the year 2007, he became a brigadier of the a brigadier in the Indian Army. He uh, he then uh, the, and so he, he he climbed the ladder one by one. You know he he became major general in the year 2011 and lieutenant general uh, by the year 2014. He was a lieutenant general uh, in year 2014. And as you as we all know, he then he then promoted and uh, as a general in the year 2017. And prior to that, he already was, became uh, chief of army staff in the year 2016. And finally, uh, in the year 2019, he was appointed as the first uh, chief of defense staff in the history of Indian uh, in in, the, in the Indian defense. And so, had a glorious career. He he he, he just uh, excelled whatever he did. Uh, a, a, a guy from uh, Uttarakhand, and uh, so uh, his contributions to the country is, 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 as uh, Prime Minister also said, hailed his contributions. The uh, Union Defense Minister also said uh, it's, it's it's completely you know uh, a glorious career career and um, so uh, you can say that uh, today is a very uh, a great loss for the country and so uh, uh, along with all the all the all the countrymen uh, we also pay our deep tribute and uh, we uh, we express our condolences of the sad demise of uh, General Bipin Rawat his wife uh, Mrs Madhudika Rawat. And all the eleven others, you know, who 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 who, who died in this tragedy. Uh, so this is a this is a very sad day, you know. And I also that in, uh, so I must also pay tribute uh, to the 
departed souls. Uh, Brigadier Alice Lidder was there, Lieutenant Colonel Harjinder Singh was there, uh, Nayak uh, Guru Sevak Singh and Jitendra Kumar, Lance Nayak Vivek Kumar, Lance Nayak V. Sai Teja and Havandar Satpal. Uh, so I, so we our deep respect to them and also uh, definitely uh, we must uh, also pray for the well-being of Group Captain, uh, Group Captain Vikram of Varun, who, who survived miraculously in this crash. Uh, so uh, we wish a speedy recovery, and I'm sure uh, 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 the nation will remember the contribution that they did. Uh, that's 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 uh, that's the um, information that I would like to share with my with our viewers, the team viewers of Nagaland TV. Thank you, thank you so much, Dibendu, for all the updates that you have given us. The entire nation mourns as Chief of Dust Justice. Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, his wife and 11 others declared dead in the IAF chopper crash which took place in Tamil Nadu's Kunnur on Wednesday afternoon at around 12.20 p.m. Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, a topmost military commander, had miraculously survived a single-engine helicopter crash back in the year 2015, minutes after he took off from Nagaland. General Lavert, age 63, took charge as India's first Chief of Defence Staff in January 2019. He was also the 57th and last Chairman of Chiefs of Staff Committee as well as the 26th Chief of Army Staff of the Indian Army. Notably, as we all know by now that there were a total of 14 people on board the chopper, including the CDS Ravat and his wife, Furthermore, earlier CDS Robert was on his way to Wellington to deliver an address at the Defence Services Staff College in Wellington. Indian Air Force's group captain Varun Singh miraculously survived the shocking military chopper crash that took life of Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat along with his wife and 11 others. Notably, Captain Varun Singh was awarded Shaurya Chakra this year on Independence Day for saving his LCA Tejas fighter aircraft during an aerial emergency in the year 2020. Earlier, CDS Rawat and his wife Madhulika were among a crew of 14 aboard the MI-17 V-5 helicopter of the Indian Air Force that crashed today near Kunur when they were en route to Wellington in Tamil Nadu. The others who succumbed to severe burns after the crash were Brigadier LS Leader, Lieutenant Colonel Harjinder Singh, N.K. Skarswak, Gurzwak Singh, N.K. Jitendra Kumar, L.N.K. Vivek Kumar, L.N.K. B. Sai Teja and Havaldar Satpal. After the horrific military chopper crash that killed Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat along with his wife and 11 others, several ministers, dignitaries including Prime Minister Narendra Modi took down to Twitter on Wednesday at, and mentioned that they are deeply anguished by the helicopter crash in Tamil Nadu. PM Modi wrote that I am deeply anguished by the helicopter crash in Tamil Nadu in which we lost General Bipin Rawat, his wife and other personnel of the armed forces. He further mentioned that they served 
India with utmost diligence and then further he concluded saying that my thoughts are with the bereaved families. Not just Prime Minister Narendra Modi but several other dignitaries like Home Minister, Union Home Minister Amit Shah also took down to Twitter and said that this is a day for the entire nation, a sad day for the entire nation as we lost our CDS, General Bipin Rawat, in a very tragic accident. He, he also mentioned that he was one of the bravest soldiers who served the motherland with utmost dev devotion. He lastly mentioned that his exemplary contributions and commitment cannot be put into words and finally said that Amit Shah, he noted that I am deeply pained by the demise of the entire tragedy that took place. Furthermore, Rajnath Singh also took down to Twitter saying that General Rawat had served the country with exceptional courage and diligence. He mentioned that as the first Chief of Defence Staff, he had prepared a lot of plans for jointness of our armed forces. The entire nation mourns as the Chief of Defence Staff General Bipin Rawat, his wife Madhulika Rawat and 11 other personnel died while the only lone survivor group Captain Varun Singh survived after the Indian Air Force chopper they were travelling in crashed near Kunur in Tamil Nadu's Nilgiri Hill District on Wednesday afternoon at around 12.20pm. While an, an investigation has been ordered, the government is likely to make a statement in Parliament on Thursday on the crash of the MI-17 V-5 helicopter. The aircraft was on its way from Sulur IAF base in Coimbatore to Defence Staff College in Wellington. That is all for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV for more news and updates.